We have team coverage of the fire tonight. Jennifer Austin spoke with the family of a woman who managed to escape the fire. But we begin with Gordon Severson, who has new information from firefighters as they investigate what happened. Gordon. Hi, Lauren. Based on their initial investigation, firefighters believe that this fire was an accident, but they haven't been able to narrow down an exact cause just yet. They do know that it started up in apartment 1407 and the fire quickly spread to all eight units up on the 14th floor. The building itself has 25 floors, so firefighters knew it would be a challenge and the snow this morning didn't help. They could not see above the eighth floor. You know, we had wind driving snow they couldn't see. An alarm system showed firefighters that the fire had started on the 14th floor. So that's where they went first. That fire had been burning for a while. It burned long enough to actually burst the glass. And as soon as that happened, now we had flames that were blowing out 15 feet. Firefighters say most of the victims, the five killed and the three injured, were on that 14th floor. At least one person on that floor, though, did make it out. I was given a tour of the, of the, of the 14th floor. And what I was saw was very traumatic. The fact that people actually survived that was very, you know, was, was, was I was very thankful. Abdi Warsami not only represents the neighborhood on the Minneapolis City Council, he also knew some of the victims. He says without firefighters' bravery, the fire easily could have spread to more of the building's 191 units. Right now, our main issue is to make sure that everybody, every resident of the building, We'll have shelter tonight. The Minneapolis Housing Authority says nine units are still uninhabitable, but they have space in other units where those who are displaced can stay. As for the victims, the agency won't say much about them, only that they were all adults. No children were injured in the fire. And for all of these families and the community members here, this has been a very difficult day, especially one day before Thanksgiving. My colleague Jennifer Austin has been uh, talking to some of those families, and you actually heard, I guess, one good story that one family member was able to get out of this apartment building. Yeah, Gordon, I heard from a woman who says her aunt, she's relieved because her aunt, who lives on the 14th floor, which is where this fire started, made it out with only smoke inhalation. She says her aunt was released from the hospital this morning and is now staying with family who live near by. She says her aunt first noticed that smoke, then opened the door to her apartment and saw the smoke was so thick she couldn't see anything. She went to the bathroom and she locked the bathroom and she said that um, still the smoke came in and then she get out of the bathroom and she opened the window and she uh, you know she she was uh, she opened the window. That's how the, she survived. She says firefighters helped her aunt get out. She says her aunt's about 69 years old and is friends with some of the people on her floor who died. She says they're all around that age. So the woman lived in one of the nine units, which Minneapolis, Minneapolis Public Housing says aren't livable tonight because of this fire. However, they do say that they have places tonight to put up those people uh, so they have a place to stay. Well, Jennifer, just tragic. Thank you.